Hi, we're at the second box park, which is seeking to bring some Shoreditch-style glamour to Croydon. And we're here to speak to Roger Wade, the founder of Box Park, about why he's chosen this site and what he's bringing to the area. Hi, I'm here with Roger Wade, the founder of Box Park uh, in the new Croydon Centre. Um, Roger, why Croydon? Why not Croydon? Um, I think we raised a lot of eyebrows when we decided to come to Croydon. We had a lot of people saying, you know, why are you going to Croydon? It's not so called cool. You know, should we go to LA, should we go to Amsterdam, should we go to New York, all of which we had opportunities to go to. But the reality is when you really think about it, is that Corn is the largest London borough. The current food and drink offering maybe isn't up to the standard that, that Croydon deserves. And we just thought it was a fantastic opportunity here. And, the, and the, the, the concept that good restaurants and good entertainment is only limited to so-called cool areas, is just absolutely ridiculous. And you know, I'm born and bred in South London. I've always wanted to build a development in South London. So this is almost like coming home for me. Okay, so is, is Croydon the next cool part of London? Uh, it's a bit corny to think that really. I don't really care whether it's cool okay. or not. I just want people to come to Box Park Croydon, have a good time, enjoy themselves, have good food, and just leave there with a smile on their face. I don't really care whether they think it's cool or not. Cool. Um, and <laughs> cool by not being cool. Yeah. And looking around the centre here and talking to people who've been shopping here too, um, it's, it's more open than the Shoreditch Box Park, and that seems to go down well with the shoppers. Was that a conscious decision? I think, I think the conscious decision that we made was I've, I've been really influenced by old things, and I love things like Covent Garden Piazza. And I love things like St. Marco Square and I think you've got to really understand the cultural references of piazzas and squares and how they bring together the community. And I wanted to create a 21st century version of a piazza and a square where you had small shops surrounding you, you had a covered roof, but then you had the central space which changed, you know, and you brought in a market, you had pop-up furniture, you might have a pop-up cinema here, you might have an Eskimo dance event for two and a half thousand people, but it changes and evolves, you know, it's, I, I guess when I was younger, I always believed in connecting the dots of your life, you know, it's almost, it's almost building my cinema paradiso, okay. which is, you know, it's a beautiful square and what I put into it is down to us. And that's fundamentally what we believe. I think people get so carried away with the architecture. Do you know what? The building is just the beginning of the hard work. It's the content you stick in the building that really matters. And that's what I love about a square and a piazza. Because yeah. it gives you the opportunity to curate, to really change that space. And did you brief uh, BDP who designed the scheme? Did you brief them to, to replicate a modern version of, of Covent Garden? This does feel very like the Covent Garden piazza. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, you could say I mean that's my, that was just my starting point. I just showed him some pictures and said that's what I like. And but the reality is, is Gavin, the chairman of BDP, also had a love of of, of piazzas and squares and markets, and and also loved containers. So he just went, yeah, that's what I think as well. So it was quite easy. We both had a sort of common belief, and yeah, both shared a common vision. Tell me a bit about how you chose the brands that you invited to be here in Box Park. Um, selectively. Uh, we, our sales director and our retail director and our sales manager hand selected every single brand that came here so we insisted on in going to every one of their units okay. so if they had a street market in, I don't know, in, a, in, in Brixton we went to it and we made sure that the food was really good because ultimately we're only as good as the content we've got so every single brand is hand selected.